You know, Davy, it just feels good to have spring once in a while. Why, it's even good for the great outdoors. Take a good whiff, Davy. <sighs> See? That's fresh air. And best of all, spring can be good for lakes, trees, birds, flowers, and all kinds of things and stuff in America. You can't go wrong with that, Ralph. Don't be sad, mistress. Yeah, what's wrong? Oh, it's a uh, you two. I thought you were Hal Jordan. Right, um, so, uh, what's got you down in the dumps? Well, today is Valentine's Day, and every year, me and Hal Jordan impress each other and have a little get-together. I see. And on top of it all, I wanted to make it extra special, but I'm not sure what to give him. Hmm, you don't say. Tell you what, Star Sapphire. Me and my pal here will help you get through all of the categories of Valentine's Day traditions. Won't we, Davy? Why, thank you, boys. That means a lot to both me and Hal Jordan. All right, Star Sapphire. The first step on your lesson is to find the perfect cologne. So which one would you like, huh? Well, um, it's pretty debatable. But I'm not sure which one I'd like. Ah, no need to worry, Star Sapphire. Perhaps I can test these colognes out on Ralph. Wait, say what now? No scent yet. Maybe I'll try another one just to be sure. Hmm, <laughs> maybe I'll get another one. Fresh out. Maybe I'll get another one. No more! Oh, sorry, Ralph. Oh, boys, I think I found the perfect perfume. Hey, where'd you get that, man? Oh, I just found it in an aisle and checked to see if there were any pink perfume bottles. Besides, it's my favorite color. Hmm, convenient, isn't it? You know, sometimes shopping for rare items can really make me and Davy feel like the Three Stooges looking for directions on a map. Well played, my good lady. Right, so the next step is to find the perfect diamond ring. But if not, it's easy. While you go shower and get dressed at Superhero High, me and Davy will make some diamond rings instead. Well, when you put it that way, that could work. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to work!
Okay, boys, I'm all set. Ready? <gasps> well, boys, how do I look? Well, <laughs> you look great, Star Sapphire. Yeah, a real cutie pie. Why, thank you, boys. My father and I were just picking out a few dresses so I can take on the world with uber fashion. What's the matter, Davy? Is Hal Jordan here? Well, uh... <clears throat> your boyfriend awaits. Don't you just love Valentine's Day, Ralph? Yeah! Oh yeah, dude. I just cannot wait to see Cupid Scout 6 in theaters. You said it, Mordecai. There's nothing I love more than watching a movie about space cupids shooting their arrows at dark-hearted souls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's you two. I, uh, thought you were somebody else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we haven't met before. My name's Mordecai, and this is Rigby. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, what's your name? Jordan. Hal Jordan. And I need your help. It's an emergency. What's up, man? Well, it's Valentine's Day, and I mustn't be late for that little get-together with the woman that I care for the most. And her name is Star Sapphire. Psh! I'm sure that Mordecai gives Margaret a couple of Valentine's gifts every year. It's easy. How did you know about that? What do you mean? We usually make Valentine's Day cards by the instructions of Benson every year. Actually, yeah, we do do that. Now you see, we know exactly how to solve your problems. Wait, you dudes will seriously do that for old Hal Jordan? Yeah. Besides, we know exactly where we can get a bouquet of flowers you wanted. Well, if you're looking for a bouquet of flowers, you guys have come to the right place. Uh, thanks, Muscle Man. Don't mention it, bro, because when it comes to plant nurseries, this one's what Bobby's for. Hey, yo, Bobby! Bobby here lives like a champ. Bobby? Show their new friend, Mr. Jordan, to the bouquet of flowers section. Cause he's going on the Love Express with his girlfriend. Well, glad to be of service, Muscle Man. You know something, Mordecai? I sure wish there was a way for us to thank the guy for the bouquet of flowers. Yeah, I personally agree in this context. But what really matters for us is to do Mr. Jordan a favor. I see. Well, I guess we better take them back to Benson's Park. Let's hope we're not too late, by the way. I guess we better cure his lovesick issues, know what I'm saying? Do you have any options on that? Rock, paper, scissors for whoever gets to show Mr. Jordan the ropes? You bet, Buster. Ugh, all right. Right, so here's the thing. 
Personally, I've never been to a prom before, but if you want to impress any woman regardless, all you have to do is dress for success. So which outfit do you think is perfect? This one or this one? I hear they ought to be worth something one day for the ladies, know what I'm saying? Eh, I'm not into that whole dress for success kind of deal. I usually like to pick an outfit of my very own, thank you very much. Uh, I think this could take a while. Alright, Mr. Jordan, you're doing great. Now if you really want to impress Star Sapphire, all you have to do is ask nicely if you and her can have a little get-together, like you usually do every Valentine's Day. But she's not here right now. How do you suppose I do that? Well, you can just make believe that she's there, right? I mean, it works for so many people who want to practice. He's got a point, though. Oh, pfft. Making believe. That's kid stuff. Well, you do want to practice, right? <sighs> All right, fine. <clears throat> hey, ladies. How's about you and I get together? Uh... Well, if you don't want to go out with me, you can always give me a call. Works for us, I guess. Oh jeez, look at the time! Carol's gonna be here any minute! Wow, that time already? Oh shoot, we forgot to get her a box of chocolates! Come on, dude, what do you say we go to the market? Right behind ya! In bright as day and black as night, no evil shall escape my sight. Those that worship evil's might, beware my power, Green Lantern, unite! She's here!